Hey, my favorite caffeine drinking emperors of all things IT, it's Lex from PDQ.com. I'm going to take you through um, adding console users to your central server mode. Now, uh, a couple of things we got to talk about in regards to that. Let's first talk about our background service. Now, the background service, you notice right here, mine is set up as Web Quintana. All right. That will be the credentials used by deploy in this case to do all the functions of deploy. Unless, you know, otherwise specified where it's calling, you know, the uh, console or the uh, scan used in inventory. That being said, this is a domain admin or a local admin on all the machines. So to allow users to use this, you want to make sure you're not just giving this out willy nilly. So if you want to let other people log in, we'll say from either a client console or the console itself, you go to console users and then you're going to want to add the Windows user account that is allowed to use that here. So in this case, I'm going to add Trixie who can definitely deploy things. And we'll also add Randy Marsh. And of course, spelling is important. Okay. And in this case, these have been added. And so what will happen at this point, if Trixie or Randy log in, they will be able to use PDQ deploy in inventory, or in this case, you know, the enterprise version of PDQ deploy where I added them and uh, moving forward. Uh, it's the exact same thing in inventory, so you'd want to set it up the same way there. Um, and uh, if you don't, when they try to log in, it's going to come up and ask them for credentials in regards to the background service. So unless you want to give out, you know, your background service credentials and password to those people so they can log in, add them here. Thanks for watching. I'm Lex from PDQ.com.